guys, welcome back to Zagami Beauty. I'm Krisha. Today's video is a oh, highly anticipated for me. It's a new rendition of my top foundation for 2020. It's the Guerlain L'Essentiel High Performance Foundation. High Perfection Foundation. I get these names wrong all the freaking time. This version of the L'Essentiel is supposed to be a little bit more matte versus glowy, a little bit more of a thinner formula, so a little bit easier to work with, although I didn't find the old one hard to work with. I actually quite liked the texture of it. It's a little bit thicker, a little more moussier. This one here is definitely thinner. I have used this a couple times. This is not a first impression. We're going to be doing a side-by-side -side with the original, the glow version on one side, and then the new matter version on this side. 30 shades, 96% natural ingredients. It's a really, really beautiful foundation. And today's test is going to be essentially, is it the same? Is it worth really getting this one versus the original one? And I do absolutely love the original one. This one is going to have to be amazing to to beat that one for sure before we get started of course I invite you to subscribe leave a comment like this video if you found it helpful of course that's it for the quick intro let's get straight into this demo and review let's compare these bottles first of all the new L'Essentiel high perfection versus the original natural glow same shape but just a slightly different look to the bottle so the original one has a clear bottle and this one here has a frosted bottle. It kind of gives it that more skin-like matte finish type vibe, definitely. The original one says it's 16 hour wear and I would say that's true. I mean, I've never worn it for 16 hours. It's a good amount of wear time with the original and this one says 24 hour wear time, probably because of the fact that it's a little bit more of a matte finish. We'll see if there's any difference. I don't find this overly matte, but again, we'll do a quick comparison between the two. I am gonna do a full day wear test. Well, as full day as I can, it is about one o'clock in the afternoon right now. I'll put my kids to bed this evening and then I'll come in and, and jump in quickly and let you guys know how it wore. I'm gonna apply the original one on this side and I love the original one. I don't know, I seem to come across people telling me that they find this one really hard to spread and apply evenly. Like it's tricky, they say. And I really haven't found that. It definitely is a thicker formula. So I just find what works best is you dot it on, use a kabuki brush and then use a moist sponge just on top to kind of push it in. And I'm gonna do the same thing on both sides. Let's go ahead, a very little amount because it's only half my face, so like half a pump. And yes, it comes off, you know, a little bit more. Let me just scoot you in here a little bit. Maybe just a little bit moussey, I would say. Definitely feels like it will be, you know, thick and full coverage, but I don't know, I don't find it to be that way. We're gonna go in with a kabuki. And I have both shades in 02N for neutral. Oh, I just love this foundation. This, the tones are really good for this range, you guys. So they do have definitely more of a golden tone, a neutral tone, and a little bit more of a rosy tone. And I'm going to use a sponge. Oh my God, my sponge flew off my table here. One second. So moist beauty blender. Okay, and very skin-like finish. Let's go over to the other side. So we have our High Perfection. Right away you can tell this one is way thinner. Again, dotted around. I should have enough with half a pump, we'll see. And the scent is the same between both. It sort of has this really, almost like iris-like, so slightly floral, but like a masculine floral, if that is even a thing. It's beautiful. Definitely not overly perfumey, especially for Guerlain. Again, Guerlain is going to have fragrance pretty much in all of their products, whether it's the skincare, the makeup. It's just a scented line, which I absolutely love, but heads up, if you don't like scent or fragrance in your makeup or skincare, just avoid it. There's no point. So this one did spread just that slightly easier. I didn't have to kind of work it in as much. And again, I like to go over it, so I'm gonna do the same thing for both. I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up, but you can tell almost already that this has definitely a glowier finish. It just has a slightly reflected, plumper finish. This one, more satin, more skin-like, and just doesn't have that same sort of like plumping, glowy effect. So far, I'm not gonna lie, I still prefer the finish of 
this one, the original glowier one. It just reflects light in a very natural glowy way. It just almost looks as if your skin is just naturally really plump and just like you've done a whole seven to nine step skincare routine. Just the fact that your face is slightly more perfected because it's, it's covering stuff, right? I prefer my skin to just look that little bit more plump and juicy versus kind of more on the matte natural satin vibe. They both feel good. This one does feel more moisturized, okay? So it does definitely have that slight, not tackiness, but just a slight more plump kind of effect. And then this one definitely has set down better thinner formula and you can tell it just doesn't feel as covered as makeup -y. and not to say this does feel makeup -y, but I do feel like I have foundation on this side this side I really don't feel like I have as much as much makeup on am I getting some transfer like very very little again I haven't set it yet so I'm gonna go ahead and just set it slightly with my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and come back and show you guys okay guys I'm back so I just finished filming the rest of my makeup it's actually a different video makeup look featuring some new Chanel products that I delayed and delayed filming that'll be coming up either before or after this video so stay tuned for that I just changed my lip a little bit I absolutely love both sides let me just kind of take another close-up look yeah there is a difference I do feel already that this side is definitely more smooth there's definitely more of a perfected look which is sort of you know in the title more of a perfected or high perfection foundation and it did smooth everything out I still feel this one is more skin like in the sense that it lets your natural texture still show through I know I have some texture here that I don't mind it's not like I don't like it it's just definitely you can see you can see the natural texture whereas here the texture is almost smoothed away definitely has set down a little bit better and easier I didn't have to use a ton of powder in general I just feel like this one didn't really even need very much powder they're both very pretty they're both very enhancing the shades are the same between the two finishes so you can kind of just jump between both foundations with your typical shade which is nice no oxidation noticed at all and the makeup applied very easily on both sides so I didn't notice a difference there but I can just tell and I hope you can see it too this side is just that little bit more plump and dewy and slightly less perfected whereas this side definitely not so much more coverage it just smoothed everything out so you're not noticing as much of my natural texture peeking through both of these foundations have the effect that they say they do this one on this side the original natural glow look absolutely I agree with that and on this side definitely more of a high perfection and I would agree with that too beautiful on both sides we'll see how they wear because I definitely want to go ahead with the rest of my day and then and show you guys how they wore especially after putting my toddlers to bed that seems to be the absolute best test for makeup and longevity on foundation especially we'll see how they wear and then we'll go from there see you guys soon okay guys I'm back and it's almost nine o'clock 8 55 I put it on just after one so we're, we're almost at the eight hour work day timeline and they're both so beautiful I'm gonna go over what I think is different about the two however that being said I've been through a lot you guys in these eight hours it wasn't a work day for me but after doing these videos I cleaned then I went to run some errands before picking up my kids at my parents house I picked them up then we did some like backyard play where we made these like little snow hills for them and we're just doing this stuff so I was just like pushing them around snows flying um, I washed my car actually before that I had wash it and so I had water spraying everywhere and then bedtime so bath hugs I was really squishing their faces I don't know I just told you guys my whole afternoon but essentially I want to tell you guys that I had a really really hands-on afternoon both sides have worn beautifully I do feel this side is glowier I mean it definitely is it's supposed to be glowier it's the you know original version definitely has more of a glow to it definitely slightly still more plump this side's really nice though you guys it is so smooth like it has stayed so so smooth I am getting some wear showing here some of my makeup has worn off but for the most part it looks absolutely beautiful so I'm going to try and see if I can show you guys a close-up so this is the original and this is the new high perfection more matte The wear is beautiful on it. I haven't noticed any creasing. It's actually stayed on really well around my nose. Yeah, it hasn't settled into anywhere. Which one do I still love more? 
Oh, I still love the original more and it's it's mainly because I just love the finish on it. I love how plumping it is. The only thing I would say that is maybe more beneficial about the new one is that yes it is more smoothing so if you do have quite a bit of texture on your skin you would really appreciate the smoothing effect of the new one. Also I feel that the new one is a little bit lighter in terms of how it feels on the skin. And it's just texture wise. I mean, you can tell right off the bat as soon as you pump out the product. You can tell that the original is just a little bit thicker, not so much moussey in a light way, but it just has like a slight heaviness and moussiness to it. And I still personally think it wears beautifully, but it does have a slightly more heavier feel than the new one. Whereas the new one is slightly on the thinner side, feels very lightweight, almost like nothing on your skin, very smoothing effect, a little bit more matte. As your oils do start to produce throughout the day, you are going to get a little slightly more radiant finish or effect, but none of them are overly like greasy by any means. They both look very, very beautiful on the skin, very natural on the skin. I just can't get over how good both of them are. So let me know if this video helped. Give it a like if you did find it helpful. Let me know down below your guys' thoughts. Will you be getting this one? Have you tried either of them? What do you guys think? Also, don't forget to subscribe before you guys go today. I would love to have you on board. That's it for today's video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.